Hello, dear student. Um, in this video, you will be able to learn how to ask questions in Turkish when we speak about endings of place. Here you can see several objects. It's a room and uh, basically I will be asking questions and I will give you some time to think how you can reply to them. Uh, after that, I will also give possible replies so that you can check yourself. So let's start. Zemin, which means floor. Zemin de sandalye var mı? Zemin de sandalye var mı? Try to answer this question by yourself. Okay, now I will give you possible answers. You can say zemin de sandalye var, which means there is a chair on the floor. You can also count how many chairs there are here, and you can say zemin de dört sandalye var. Zemin de dört sandalye var which means there are four chairs on the floor. Okay, let's continue. Duvar, uh, wall. Duvarda masa var mı? Duvarda masa var mı? Try to answer this question. Okay, possible answer could be Hayır, duvarda masa yok. Hayır, duvarda masa yok. And you can also say, uh, no, there is no table on the wall. There is a picture. Hayır, duvarda masa yok. Ama resim var. Okay, let's continue. The next question. Vazoda çatal var mı? Vazoda çatal var mı? Try to reply. And a possible answer could be Hayır, vazoda çatal yok. Vazoda çiçekler var. Okay, let's continue. Masada Kaşık var mı? Masada kaşık var mı? Kaşık means spoon. Okay, and the answer would be Hayır, masada kaşık yok. Bıçak ve çatal var. Okay, the next question. Penjerede perde var mı? Penjerede perde var mı? Evet, penjerede perde var. And you can also add that uh, the color that you can see, right? It's a uh, purple, purple curtain. So you could say, evet, penjerede mor perde var. All right, so um, also I would like to add that if you don't want to say the word var or yok, which means there is or there is no, uh, then you have to place your subject at the very beginning. So instead of saying, let's say, there are uh, flowers in the vase, which would be vazo da çiçekler var, you can just say flowers are in the vase. So it will be çiçekler Vazoda. Chichekler vazoda. You understand, right? So if you say what is, uh, you place it uh, at the very beginning of a sentence, then there is no need in saying var or yok. Let's try. Let's use the example of uh, the picture. So uh, how would you say um, trees are in the picture? Trees are in the picture. Try to say it first. Okay, the answer would be Ağaçlar resimde. Ağaçlar resimde. Okay, 
Uh, let's try to say the table is on the floor. The table is on the floor. You go first. Okay, and now we will say it together. Masa zeminde. Masa zeminde. Okay. Uh, now we are using the same construction. And for instance, you want to say, um, let's say, the chair is not on the wall, right? The chair is not on the wall. So again, the chair comes first. This is why you will not have to say uh, var o yok, but remember it is a negative sentence. So think how you would say it. I'll give you uh, some time to think. So it would be sandalye duvarda değil. Sandalye duvarda değil. Okay. Uh, let's say the knife, bachak, the knife is not on the chair. The knife is not on the chair. You go first. The answer will be Bichak sandalye de değil. Bichak sandalye de değil. Okay. And now let's use the same words. Uh, we use bichak and sandalye. And we will say there is no knife on the chair. How will you say it? Okay. The right answer will be Sandalje de bychak yok. Sandalje de bychak yok. So um, you need to remember that if you use an object, a subject as the first word, and then you say where it is, you don't have to use the words var or yok. Uh, if you want to make a negative sentence, you just have to use the word dei. However, uh, if you want to put uh, place where something is at the very beginning of a sentence, then at the end of it, you will have to say var or yok. Like for example, sandalje de bychak var. Um, I hope it helped. Uh, thank you very much.